Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. This is the problem from CSR 2015. According to this problem, this substrate initially react with tributyl tin hydride in the presence of A, B and in the second step with Jones reagent which produce one product. So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. So the first reaction condition is the use of tributyl tin hydride. We have already discussed about tributyl tin hydride in three parts, their preparation, properties and application. If anyone missed that, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. So tributyl tin hydride when react with AABN which readily produce tributyl tin radical. So this tributyl tin radical going to react with our substrate. So now you see tributyl tin radical which quickly abstract the bromine atom. So resulting that carbon bromine bond homolytic cleavage happen to produce this corresponding carbon center radical. Now this carbon center radical going to react with alkene. However, here there are two alkene are present. So definitely most of them get doubt which alkene going to react with this radical. So here you just start the numbering. So this position get number 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5 and this position is 6 and if you go this alkene, so here 6, 7, 8. So in general, in radical cyclicization reaction, the formation of small member ring system is always favored when compared to the larger ring system. So therefore, this radical definitely react with this alkene rather than this alkene. So for our convenience, we can redraw this radical intermediate like this. So now you see, so this radical going to react with this alkene, especially fifth position because the formation of small member ring system is favored when compared to the larger ring system. Here we should note it down the stereochemistry. So now you see the top phase is completely shielded by this alkene group. So definitely the bottom phase is completely free when compared to the top phase. Therefore, this radical center react with this alkene by bottom phase. So which produce this carbon center radical? So now you see this part present at the bottom phase while this part present at the top phase. Now this carbon center radical quickly abstract the proton from tributyl tin hydride. So this proton abstraction also takes place by bottom phase since top phase has highly shielded. So which produce this corresponding intermediate. So the whole sequence of reaction is known as Eno Stark reaction. So next moving on our second reaction condition, the use of Jones reagents. So Jones reagent means that chromium trioxide in aqueous sulfuric acid known as Jones reagent. So this is the acetic mixture. So now you see our intermediate in the presence of acid quickly protonation takes place to produce this corresponding protonated intermediate. Now you see this oxygen has two lone pair of electron, one of its electron goes here. So resulting that kick of ethanol as a byproduct. So resulting that produce this corresponding intermediate. So this intermediate quickly react with water since so this reagent presents in the aqueous sulfuric acid, so which produce this corresponding lactal intermediate. This lactal intermediate quickly oxidize under Jones reagent condition, which produce this corresponding lactone product. So based on our discussion, among the four answer, the correct option for this question is answer one. That's it for today's problem. I hope this video has helped your understanding, particularly this question. If you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.